everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my video. Hello if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatever is cool, whatever works for you, whatever. So in the spirit of the 12 days of Christmas, I am picking my 12-ish favorite books of 2017. This is a spot I kind of cheated on, but not really. I mean, I made up the rules, so I don't think I can really technically cheat. So taking up spot number eight is Ruined by Amy Tintera, the sequel Avenged as well. And the third book, Allied, which is the conclusion to this trilogy, is coming out in 2018. And I have it pre-ordered and I am so excited. The ending of both of these books was so good, like such a good, like, oh, you have to buy the next book kind of construction. So, you know, Props to Tintera on that one. I've also read Tintera's other series since her duology called Reboot. The first book is Reboot and the second one is Rebel. They're also really interesting. It's definitely like a dystopian being in a product of that whole of the Hunger Games kind of era that we had in YA a few years ago. So Ruined is, oh, first of all, these covers are really pretty. They didn't make my prettiest covers of the year, but they were on the list and like kind of an honorable mention for sure. So I can't really tell you what the summary of Avenged is because it would majorly spoil what happens in Ruined. But I can tell you about Ruined. So the main character, Emelina, is from a kingdom called Ruina, and her parents have just been murdered, and her sister, who is super powerful, has just been kidnapped. Well, her kingdom was sacked. So needless to say, she's got a bit of a chip on her shoulder. And the kingdom that did a lot of this is Lyra. So in an effort to infiltrate Lyra in order to save her sister, she essentially kidnaps a character that is being betrothed and married to Prince Casimir of the kingdom of Lyra, and pretends to be her and essentially gets in the royal family that way. And then when she gets in, she realizes it's not as picturesque and perfect as she kind of thought it was. And while she's looking for her sister, she also grows close to Casimir. She realizes very quickly that the king in charge of Lyra at the moment does not have really any similar views of Casimir. Prince Casimir is next in line to the throne. So as the book goes on, she very quickly realizes that in order for her to get her kingdom back and then rebuild it, that Casimir may be the only option for her. She also realizes that there's some internal struggle, especially between, you know, there's friendship cliques, there's a lot of nepotism issues. Casimir's cousin, I believe it is, is honestly just a piece of garbage. So <laughs> she creates a lot of problems and like the ending is just pure craziness. And then we meet Olivia and oh, she is not the character I thought she was. I mean, in all honesty, my hopes for the third book is that Olivia gets killed somehow. So I mean, that should tell you everything that's going to happen. Honestly, I really loved the forbidden romance. Honestly, Emelina really struggles with her feelings throughout this whole book for Prince Casimir, but they have become very apparent and incredibly important at the end of the first book and then the second book. I don't find that she really changes all that much throughout the books. She went through a lot at the before the books even started. So she is who she is because of everything that happened before. She's an incredibly strong person and very vengeful which I kind of loved about her and she's very she's very goal-oriented she knows what she wants she's keeping her eye on the prize and she's very frustrated it almost seemed like that there's a boy that's distracting her through this whole time I would honestly just super highly recommend this series if you like anything to do with like medieval royalty betrayal politics war family drama, romance. <laughs> I mean, it kind of ticks all the boxes. And I think it was just done with some really, really likable characters as well as some very like distinctly villainous characters and written really well. I think it was just incorporated like something that like almost every single human being who reads YA would love at one point or another with some likable characters. So I would just super highly recommend this series if you haven't already looked at it or given it a try. And I actually even talked to a friend who said that she tried it before and DNF'd it and then she retried it like this past month and like I loved it and she doesn't know why she didn't like it the first time. So I think I'm going to try and binge it again before Allied comes out because... I, I am just so excited for the things that have to happen in that book. And I, like I said, I kind of hope Olivia gets taken out in all honesty. And if you read it, then then you'll understand me. I, I bet you'll agree with me. So that is spot number eight. Make sure to check the description box down below and check out all of my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back and have a wonderful holiday.